not easy enough. Uh, pretty much exactly the same as Guadalupe. Fill up the paper on the computer, enter your information, print it, they stamp it, they sign it, and done. They don't stamp your passport, by the way. Not here, not Dominica, not Guadalupe. Uh, they just give you a piece of paper. We're gonna go find some breakfast. Let's go find some breakfast. I'm happy now. <laughs> Ben thinks I'm rowing. <laughs> We're at an impasse. It tickled me out of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have done that. We're gonna be drifting along. You're with the wind. The wind's coming from behind us. It's not even gonna be hard. You tickled me out of my seat. This is my sour face right now. You mm, tickled me to row. What kind of boyfriend does that? Tickle is good. One that loves you very much. How was the dive there, Chica? The dive is good, but I don't know what's in the water, but something stung me. You got Multiple stung again? Something stung me. I always seem to get stung. Those things love you. It's crazy. Like, I got everywhere my arm, my legs, my stomach. It's just so itchy. Maybe I should start wearing, um, like, full suits and such. <sighs> That's life, I guess. We went for a little swim under our boat and we found a whole bunch of lionfish. It's more lionfish, I think, than we've seen anywhere else in the Caribbean. We saw one back in Haiti, but I think that was about it. Um, they are an invasive species and they don't really have any natural predators. So everywhere you go, um, you're usually encouraged to take as many as you possibly can because they kind of destroy reefs. So, um, we went down and got all the ones we could see. There's a couple of smaller ones down there, but I couldn't quite spear them. A lot of people know that they are a, a poisonous fish. All these spines on their back and some of the spines on the front actually have venom in them. But once you cut all those off, then they're pretty much safe to fillet and they're pretty tasty. We've never filleted lionfish before, but uh, YouTube makes it look pretty easy. So we're going to give it a try and grill them up later on today and hopefully they taste good. Well, lionfish um, have venomous spikes all on the back and then venomous spikes on these bottom fins and the anal fin, but nothing on their side fins, these big wing ones, look at that, it's pretty cool. And nothing on their tail fin. So you can hold the tail fin and then just cut off all the venomous spikes. There's no venom sacs like on the inside of the fish. So once you cut off these little spikes, that's it. They're they're safe to handle after that. You want to be careful not to like leave these spikes on your boat somewhere where you can step on them because they're still venomous even after you cut them off. The spikes are. Get rid of these overboard. These ones are pretty small. There's not a whole lot of meat on them. Um, the easiest way I've found to get it off is to cut along the spine to kind of open up the skin and then just gut them and fillet them like you would a normal fish. Another thing that's really easy about lionfish is that the skin's really easy to peel off. You don't need a knife. You just kind of slice along here and then you can pull the skin off. All right guys, this is not ketchup. This is my very super secret special marinating sauce that I put on just about everything. I make it myself, it's really good. If you want the recipe for it, we're gonna bury it in the vault. And uh, if you have access to the vault, you'll have access to this recipe. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. Oh, 
know, leaving the Anchorage was a bit uh, stressful, I guess, a little bit. Um, we were pulling up the anchor. There's a big like net that got caught in our anchor at some point where we were like drifting around in the wind. Um, I feel kind of bad for just cutting it off and leaving it, but it went on from horizon to horizon under the water. It was huge. Um, some fishermen must have left it there. It looked really old. It looks like it hasn't been used in a while. But um, yeah, there wasn't much I could do about it. I mean, I couldn't haul the whole thing up on deck. After we finally broke free from what looked like an abandoned large fishing net, we were out of this anchorage. They don't dream of spring We dream till winter And still we know nothing but us And I didn't think about you then But I keep my winters within The light has go vision So much that I'm missing so bad And this night You're the one that I think about You're the one that I think about you're the one that I think about. Good morning, fellow YouTubers. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering where we are right now, because we're obviously not on the boat. We are in this guy's condo. <laughs> this is Kevin. You probably remember Kevin from uh, about a year ago, I think. We were in Miami when we met him. And a fun fact, Kevin is from Martinique. So, so here we are. Here Everybody we are. are finally in Martinique. We had a fun couple of days planned with Thais and Kevin. And since it was Thais's birthday, we had something extra special in mind. <laughs> it's going down. Happy you know birthday, Thais! Thank you! <laughs> now we have to clean up more candy. this beautiful mess that we just made. <laughs> because we are ocean people now, we're gonna spend as much time cleaning around than we actually spend playing with that thing. Cap Chevalier has a few easily accessible islands and beaches nearby. So, after we destroyed the piñata, we grabbed the paddle boards for some exploration. Think about you then, but I keep my winters within. Colliders go vision so much that... As much as we love exploring on our own, having friends to share an adventure with is always a good idea. You're the one that I think about. You're the one that I think about. You're the one that I think about. What are we doing today? Day sailing. Day sailing. Today legs from Scholche to Osnoir. My wife is at the helm and the police is about to show up for DUI. Look at that. <laughs> S shape in the back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're heading into it. Yeehaw. Oh my god. Is this normal? <laughs> yeah, it's normal. Baby. It's normal. <laughs> Just, Just make back. sure you are fall. You turn that way. Right. You have to be re you have to be responsive. When the boat when the boat wants to go to the left and you want to go to the right, you have to keep it to the right. Yeah. You cannot let the boat go left. <laughs> okay. No baby, you're gonna eat too much to the left. Okay. Too much to the left. Hey, force it to the right. Push it to the right. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Kind of what I got. 
which our first stop is Anz Noir, where we're gonna get to jump in. Do some cliff, cliff jumping! We're gonna do some cliff jumping. We're gonna go cliff jumping! <laughs> we're quite excited. I'm excited. Kika is super excited. So Since excited. we got up this morning, she has only one thing in mind. Because I'm jumping. gonna get close not to jump! <laughs> That was a lot of fun. That was amazing. <laughs> but now we're going back to Uma. We're going to sail to Grenas to meet up with uh, Sailing Miss Shift. Yeah, we're going to hopefully raft up for some afternoon luncheon yep. around the corner. It's not too far away, but the wind's really, really light. So hopefully we'll be able to drift around the corner and meet them. Dead zone. <laughs> That's the sounds of what's going on right now. <laughs> Story of our life. So the funny thing is we're really close to our destination, maybe about like a mile and a half or two miles out. And the wind completely died. So we're motoring a little bit. There's wind that's coming our way, so we're moving towards the wind and hopefully we'll catch that and we'll be able to sail the rest of the way. We're going right here. Right now, we cannot motor more than half a mile before things start to overheat. But the problem isn't the electric motor itself, but the battery bank and motor controller. But that would all soon change once we get our lithium iron batteries and our new motor controller. So stay tuned for that. Oh, but as you can tell, we didn't have to wait long before the wind picked back up, leading us straight into the bay. Hello again! Hello! It was nice actually, we got some wind! We met up with Christian and Ariana from the YouTube channel Sailing Mischief. And while the boats were rafted up together, it was time for us to get silly. This thing really feels more like a landing craft than a dinghy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get the tank off. Your first time in Gonos. And to another YouTube meetup. Yes. As the sun was setting, it was time to say goodbye and head back to Sholshire. Today was awesome and the sail back was fantastic. Sweet. I don't think we could have asked for a better sail back. It was yep. like perfect wind. We were sailing along like five and a half knots or so. Perfect. Heeled Same. over. It was nice and cool and calm. Amazing. It was a really good day of sailing actually. We're heading back to take a hot shower. To the chocolate cookies. To the chocolate cookies. That's where we're heading. This kid promised me chocolate cookies. <laughs> and then when we went down below, couldn't find them. And I've been upset ever since. And now it's been documented for the world to know that you can't trust Kevin when he says he has chocolate cookies. Oh my gosh. So I got this new glass today to repaint my old 
Wine glass. It's a wine and glass. It's a wine vat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's a wine vase. So wait, 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 wait. By comparison, these two glasses have the same amount of wine in them. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. Wait, this is the best part, Kika. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It's like a gong. By the way guys, if you want to help me find an awesome name for my new amazing wine glass, let me know in the comments below. I am open for suggestions. Okay, I'm not gonna say that because I can't say it. The next morning, we headed back to Uma just in time to catch some locals in action, leaving the anchorage with our boat. Like what the f So yeah, come back next week to find out what we did about that wee situation and how we end up on a catamaran. Yeah. That just happened. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and make sure you become a part of our journey by clicking the subscribe button. Until then, cheers! <laughs> no, you can't hold it with your You man. can't hold it, you're yeah, cheating! Yeah, you're cheating! <laughs> <laughs> yes.